Let's build this Flexbox powered hero section for a branding agency without any code that works on literally every single screen size. Let's break it down. I already have a few elements set up, but otherwise let's start by adding the Flexbox, which is in the Layout Tools tab right at the bottom here. There's a lot you can do with Flexbox, but for this we'll select bricks, and then I'm going to reduce the vertical gap slightly. Adding content is super simple too. Let's expand it and grab some text and drag it into the first item here. Let's adjust the font and bump up the size. In the item itself, let's make a few key adjustments. First, set this width to max content to hug our text, but keep this minimum width and remove the minimum height. This allows the content to wrap and adjust the screen size when there's not enough space, even within the same breakpoint as the screen becomes smaller. Now I'm just going to duplicate the text and write out the rest until I have something like this. Then hopping over into media, I can import our images, select one and add to page. Selecting the Flexbox, we can manage items and add item. Set the width to Mac content and height to none, just like above. Then I'm gonna grab our image and set the behavior to fixed, lock that aspect ratio, and set the height to 130 pixels. Then we can go ahead and drop it into the container and position it. Then we'll just go through and duplicate for the rest of our images using those same settings. Positioning one in between almost every word with the same height as above of 130 pixels. And because we're using the Flexbox layout tool, as we resize, the elements will change lines exactly how we want. Lastly, for desktop, select all of the items and we'll remove this blue background. But switching over to tablet, things are a little bit too large. So I'm going to drop down the text from 100 to 90 pixels and reduce the height of the art images to 115 pixels. I'm also going to go ahead and remove the vertical gap so it feels a little bit more compact. And that is virtually it for tablet since Flexbox is literally so flexible. Going ahead and switching to the mobile breakpoint, we're going to drop some sizes by a pretty fair amount here. First, let's widen our container and then we'll drop all of the text to about 60 pixels and the height of the images to 80 pixels. And with that done, that is it. We've gone ahead and successfully built a fully dynamic text heading section with Flexbox and wrapping text. Want to see more of these? Check out another tutorial.